fellow humans, my name is Jackie if you're new here and I'm the creator behind the simple sprinkle. Today I'm going to show you how to make German soft sweet pretzels that are entirely vegan. As always, all specific measurements and ingredients are in the video description below and as a full written recipe on my website. Sweet, soft pretzels like that are available in Germany all year round in every bakery. However, they are especially popular in many regions of Germany around St. Martin's Day, which is on the 11th November. Start by mixing active dry yeast and warm plant milk together. Set it aside for 5 minutes so the yeast can activate. Then, in a mixing bowl, combine your dry ingredients, which include flour, sugar and salt. Once your yeast is activated, we will start making the dough. With an electric mixer and the dough hook attached, add your milk yeast mix, melted butter and let it run on low speed. Once the ingredients form into a ball, increase the speed and knead everything for around 10 minutes until a smooth, uniform dough is formed. Roll your kneaded dough into a ball shape and add it to a lightly greased bowl. Cover and let it rise in a warm, non drafty place until it's doubled in size. It takes around one hour. I prefer putting it to rise into the oven with the light on for warmth, but don't turn the oven on if you do that. If you have family members around that use the oven frequently, definitely tell them or put a note onto the oven so no one is turning on the oven while your dough is resting in there. That happened to me one time and it was a huge disaster, so I definitely recommend telling everyone in the house that there is something in the oven. Once your dough has doubled in size and rested, we have to divide the dough into 8 equal pieces. I weighed the dough on a scale and then divided that number through 8, so you had around 110 to 120 grams each. Once you have divided your dough into 8 equal pieces, we have to form the pieces into balls. There's two different ways on how you can do that. You can either do it in your hand, on your palm, how I show it here, or you can do it on your work surface and just roll it around until a ball forms. And then we're already ready to form our dough into pretzels. So to form it into pretzels, we have to start by rolling the dough out into a long sausage around 60 centimeters long, leaving the middle part thicker and th thinning it out towards the outside, as you can see here. Just leave it a little thicker in the middle. Then I'm just measuring it so they're around 60 centimeters long. And the thick part in the middle actually forms the belly of the pretzel at the bottom. Take the thin strands, twirl them around each other and then just flop it over. Press the ends down into the belly a little bit so they stick together. And it's best to form the pretzels directly on the place of the baking tray so you don't have to transfer them again, especially when you do this for the first time. I've done it a couple of times so I feel comfortable transferring them. If you do it the first time, I definitely recommend forming and shaping them onto the baking tray so you don't have to like move them around and they may fall apart. Just have fun with it. It may take you a couple of tries to really get the hang of it, but I promise you, you will get it. It's not that hard. Feel free to like spread them out a little bit if you feel like they got a little bit too tight or a little bit too small. And yeah, once you have shaped your pretzels, they have to rest again for around 45 minutes to an hour. And yeah, here I'm just showing you again how to do it. Just twirl it around and shape it, press it against it and you have your pretzel and yeah you can definitely spread them out and reshape them a little bit once you folded them so don't be scared to like redo one if they don't turn out perfectly and yeah once they have risen after 45 minutes you bake them and then once they're baked they will look something like that let them cool for around 5 to 10 minutes so they're not piping hot and then this is sugar and vanilla sugar mixed together and some melted vegan butter and then you will brush the still warm pretzels with melted vegan butter and once they're nicely brushed you will put them into the sugar mixture and just like twirl them around in there a little bit I also like to sprinkle a little bit on there 
And then, yeah, you have your covered pretzels already. That's it. You can eat them slightly warm. You can let them cool completely. They taste best on the day they are baked. If you want to store them longer than a couple of days, I recommend freezing them. Store them in a freezer-safe container or bag, seal them airtight, label with the date of freezing, and yeah, they keep fresh in the freezer for up to six months. You can defrost them by lightly baking them. And yeah, that's already it. Super easy, super delicious, so comforting. It is one of my favorite German recipes to feel back at home. They turn out so fluffy. I really hope you enjoyed this video and this recipe. If you try it, let me know. Let me know how you liked it. If you haven't already, subscribe, put on the bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. I post lots of vegan and plant-based content. But yeah, feel free to browse around and check it out and see you soon. Bye!